So I've been working on learning Spanish ever since we decided to become snowbirds and live here for six months of the year in Mexico. Um, I honestly haven't really been that serious about it though until this year. Like I'm able to do transactions like uh, I can order water, I can order food, I can buy things at local shops, but I'd really like to take it to the next level. So I decided that I would um, check out and see what options are available in Puerto Morales for learning Spanish. It turns out there are quite a few options here and in today's video I'm going to tell you about those options. If you're interested in learning Spanish while you're visiting or living here in Puerto Morales. So come on, hablando espanol, it's what we're doing today. First up, I'm going to talk about Diego Spanish Tutor. Those of you who follow my Trish advisor will recognize Diego as Trish's hubby. Diego holds a Spanish class at El Pirata every Tuesday at 4 o'clock. This is a fun, informal class and it's free to attend. They pass around a tip glass at the end and, uh, of the class and you can contribute some funds to Diego as you wish. I have attended a couple of classes and the first one we played a bingo type game which taught us some vocabulary and numbers and the second one I attended Diego shared some cultural information about the Day of the Dead traditions that are held here in Mexico. Very informative. These classes are pretty beginner level and give you a bit of vocabulary on a, in a fun setting. I actually did a more in-depth interview with Diego about his courses and what they offer and I will post that video as part two of this language learning series. So be sure to watch that one if you want to dive deeper into learning Spanish. Next up is the Lenin Institute. This is an actual language school located in La Colonia on the corner of Timon and Catamaran Streets. The teacher is Bertrand and he is very laid back an intimidating teacher. I felt completely at ease speaking Spanish in the class. There's a Saturday conversational class, one at beginner level and one at intermediate. The cost is 120 pesos for a one hour class on Saturdays. This class is very informal, but it gets you speaking the language. There's a topic for the class. For example, the one I went to, we were talking about things we did, liked, etc. when we were young. The idea was to practice speaking in the past tense. I took the intermediate class and I was not overwhelmed. I understand the beginner class is just that. You will learn how to introduce yourself, likes and dislikes, favorite things and so on. They also have structured classes you can sign up for and they are on Tuesday and Thursdays for one and a half hours as well as including the Saturday conversational class. The cost is 1,680 Mexican pesos for four weeks, which is a really good price for a language learning course. This is just a sampling here of my notes from this course to give you an idea of the material covered. So I'm down in the square here, uh, down at Portside. Uh, today I am going to take a Spanish class that they're holding at La Serena. It's called Spanish on La Rocas, which is like Spanish on the rocks. Um, and um, I haven't done it yet before. I'm just looking at options for um, taking Spanish courses here in Puerto Morales. So this is just another one that I wanted to check out. So uh, yeah, come on along. We'll uh, see what we can learn today, see how we can add to my Spanish learning journey. And uh, yeah, so come on along. This course is informal as well and is a bit more advanced than beginner. The teacher is Aria and she's a sweetie. The goal of this course again is to get you speaking. We played a game where each person read from a card and the other students had to guess the answer so as it pertained to the reader. It was fun and I enjoyed it. The cost is 400 pesos and is an 80 minute class and includes a drink. It's held every Thursday at two o'clock at La Serena if you want to check it out. No te so he's like, I always swear when I'm around taxi. No te culpo.
to push out. You know, and kiss you, kiss you is. Kiss you is kind of like when you are in the center. So my next stop on my language learning journey was the Alma Libre bookstore in the square port side. I was able to buy some books here to help me with vocabulary, verb conjugations and so on. There are any number of books in any number of topics if you want to expand your vocabulary by reading in Spanish. There are also English books here and Linda who works there is an awesome lady and she's in my Spanish class at the Lennon Institute. Small town. Language books are really helpful if you are serious about learning Spanish because you can pick them up when you have free time at home and they supplement any courses you might be taking. So that's kind of it for learning options if you're physically in Puerto Morales. But I'm just going to give you a few YouTube channels that I use as well to supplement my learning. Kuru Paul has some great videos as well as Hola Spanish, which is great for listening comprehension. The Language Tutor is great too. Tons of videos from beginner right up to advanced. I also use LingQ app, which has lessons, reading material, and listening material in many languages. The designer of this app, Steve Kaufman, is a really good YouTube source for learning as well. So I hope this video has helped you find some resources to learn some Spanish if while you're here visiting in Puerto Morales. I'm going to put links to all of the resources I talked about in my video in the description below. And don't forget to stay tuned for my interview with Diego, Spanish tutor. It'll be coming out in my next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.